Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a flip through of Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. And my cat is getting into things. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of this today. Super exciting. I, um, I want to do a color along in one of these. You guys see the difference in the, the page colors for these two books? That's just insane. Like, this is off white. This is just straight yellow. It's crazy. And those are both Johanna Bassett books, but it's okay. I'll deal with it. It's fine. So you can color the um, dust jacket. It's just a bunch of leaves. Uh, you could color the cover and the inside cover as well if you wanted. And then here is the title page. What I was trying to say before, um, before I got distracted by the color of the pages, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I am hoping to do a color along in one of these Johanna Basford books soon. Um, right now I have a lot of videos uh, pre-filmed that are already scheduled to go up. I think I have videos for like the next two weeks with a video going up every single day. So it's crazy. Um, by the time you see this video, most of those videos will probably be up already. But yeah, anyway. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by people yelling outside my house now. I have, I've got squirrel syndrome. I'm sorry. Uh, so this is the nameplate page. All of the images that are hidden. I like this is really cute. It's like a little, little map. compass and a little castle in there. A full forest. There's a, an owl and a squirrel. If you guys have this book, let me know if your pages are as yellow as this or if I just got a weird one because this is very yellow even for her books, I feel like. These are really cool. I like these like angular um, leaves with the little thorns and stuff. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a little bunny head right there. A deer with some massive antlers. <laughs> just a lot of you know it's, it's enchanted forest so there's a lot of foresty scenes in here oh that's a little animal pyramid that's cute a bunny and a hedgehog I'm assuming some leaves pages like this will probably be really easy to um, to get done. I feel like for this page, like a, a watercolor background and then using some fine liners on the leaves and stuff would be nice. Bunch of acorns. Ooh, a treasure chest of acorns. That's cool. Another squirrel and a fox. More foresty stuff. Oh, there's a little fairy door. This is really cute. It's a little fairy house and a tree stump. I'm not the biggest fan of 
these types of pages that she does in pretty much all her books. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of wasted space and I don't know what to do with it. Ooh, that's cool. I like images with mushrooms. I don't I got a thing for mushrooms. That's cool. The little tree here fits into this. Like a you like you picked up the tree and put it over here. Uh another one of those very empty spaced pages. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. It's a little hot air balloon made with leaves and flowers. Get some feathers. Well, here we go. <clears throat> These are cute. Tree house. And this literal tree house. Ah, <gasps> this is my favorite page so far. I love this. It's like tree house city. This is awesome. Oh, it's a so it's a little forest, and then there's a a little fairy door there, uh, like living underground. It's cute. Oh, there's some some tunnels, and then a little dwelling down there. There's a little treasure chest. And then eel has the key. That's funny. A sword. There's a, a frog. A little leaf sailboat. That's cool. A skull. Some unicorns. A little coat of arms, an owl, this one's a maze, looks like the bird found the key. Ooh, a castle. There's the gate, the lock, the lion. <laughs> the castle door. And then it says draw the nine symbols here to unlock the castle door. So I'm assuming these like, there are some pages that have these like squares here that have symbols on them. I'm guessing if you, you know, you're supposed to write them in the the sequence that you find them in the book. I don't even know what other pages have them. Right there, there's a diamond there. So, you're supposed to draw them here and then you unlock the castle. And then, the castle. There's dragons inside the castle. So, there's a double page spread of a dragon. It's literally the exact same image on the other side, just reversed. I kind of wish they were different. I mean, you can color them differently, but since they're so big, I wish they were different, but it's okay. And then you can color this too, if you so wish. And then there are all of the uh, little thumbnails of all the images. And then there is the back cover. So it's like a little treasure hunt, which is super cute. 
but yeah I'm excited to start coloring in these Johanna books because especially this one I feel like I could get the pages done relatively quickly some of them not all of them some of them are very detailed but yeah so that is Enchanted Forest by Johanna Basford. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.